Hello everyone, happy Masony Monday and welcome to another episode of Mario's History Talks. So the referendum came and went and it failed in spectacular fashion. So it looks like, at least for the time being, we have fought and won a major decisive battle in the right to keep the name Macedonia. We fight for this name, tooth and nail, as we should. But few of us actually understand what the name means. What does Macedonia mean? Land of the tall people, as the Greeks like to say? Or land of the macadamia nuts, as our English-speaking friends like to say. Now, some theories are more credible than others. Sorry, macadamia nuts. But there is a third theory, a theory I've come up with, that not only is logical and historically sound, but reveals the name through something that's been looking at us straight in the eye for the longest amount of time. So, let's take a look. So, the name Macedonia, linguists and scholars in general, say it comes from the word makednos, which is a tribal name. Greeks like to connect the word makednos to the Greek adjective makros, meaning large, as in macroeconomics. So for the Greeks, in an attempt to make Macedonia Greek, say the word basically means land of the tall people or the highlanders. But there are a couple problems with this theory. First of all, the word makednos as a Greek word doesn't have a whole lot of support. Um, it's mentioned once in Homer's Odyssey in reference to a wall, but other than that, if this was a Greek word, it's not mentioned anywhere else. And any student of Homer can tell you Homer used a lot of words, both Greek and non-Greek, in his poems to make the meter fit. So uh, leading linguist of the Greek language, Robert Beeks, he basically says that the word makinos can't really be understood through a Greek lens because it's more of a proto-Indo-European construct, a pre-Greek construct, if it's another way to put it. So besides that though, the word meaning land of tall people really would not be an accurate description because the Macedonians, both ancient and modern, are not really a tall people. I mean, we know at Alexander, for example, he was actually pretty short for his day. And no sources really uh, denote the Macedonians as being a particularly tall people, something that would have stood out in ancient times. So a lot of, theory, a lot of uh, holes already in this theory. Now, however, there is another theory that I have put together that I think makes a little bit more sense. So let's take a look at um, something very unique about Macedonia. Macedonia actually has the highest quality opium in the world. It actually doubles in the strength and quality of the second leading producer, Pakistan. And Pakistan is very well known for it, but Macedonia is not. So Macedonia, uh, with its opium production, obviously, has to have a connection to its poppies. And we know this in history. If we look at the Macedonian sun, in a lot of cases, we see that little blue center. Most of us are not really sure why it's there, and for purposes of our flag, we didn't even put it there because we weren't really sure what it meant. Um, but if you look at it and uh, look at some uh, research about it, uh, that blue center is actually the blue center of a poppy flower. So not only do we produce the highest quality opium, but we, in ancient times, quite literally respected. We had reverence towards the poppy as an integral part of our identity as Macedonians. And this Macedonian sun and uh, motive of the poppy, it's not just in the dynasty of the royal Macedonian family, the Argeids, it's quite literally in everywhere throughout the territory of Macedonia. So this is not just a localized event. Macedonians had a lot of uh, significance attached to the poppy flower. But what does it have to do with the name? Well, you guessed it, the name, the word poppy in the Macedonian language and in all Slavic languages is mak, M-A-K. As opposed to the second part of the word, dno, we're taking off the S because if we're assuming it is in fact a non-Greek word, which like I said, a lot of linguists seem to think it is, we're left with makedno. Dno in Macedonian and a lot of all the Slavic languages means bottom, bottom of the land, but in a general sense, quite literally means the dirt, the earth, the, you know, the actual bottom. So once we put mak and dno together through the lens of the modern day Macedonian language, we're quite literally left with land of the poppies, a reference to something that Macedonians respected all throughout their existence, something that has cultural and topographical significance, but something that also makes sense when considering that a lot of other countries in Europe have their names rooted in some descriptor of their land. For example, Spain means land of the rabbits. Italy means land of the wolf. So Macedonia being a old civilization like those two, there is a very high degree of uh, possibility. The name Macedonia also means something about the land, land 
of the poppies. I'll attach links down below so you can see for yourself where I came up with these words. But if you have any other theories, uh, please feel free to comment below and uh, let me know what you think. I'll be making more videos and I'd love to have your feedback. So thank you for listening. Have a safe and happy week. And as always, keep fighting for Macedonia. Thank you.